So first of all, you will need to have an updated and fully synced up uh, Bitcoin Core node, as well as some funds available in your addresses. And the first step in order to construct a raw Bitcoin transaction is to use the command list unspend. And this will show us the coins or the UTXOs that we have available for spend. Now, here I can specify a number of confirmations. Uh, confirmations, this is why I put the number zero here, zero confirmations, one confirmations, three confirmations. You can put any arbitrary number. Uh, confirmations basically refers to the number of blocks that have been added to the blockchain since the block that your funds were included in. Now, you should know that a Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have what's called a probabilistic finality. This means that your uh, funds become increasingly difficult to tinker with the more blocks are added to the blockchain. The reason for that is that if a single block is added, um, a miner would only need to spend the resources for two blocks in order to reorganize the transactions, in order to tinker with, with uh, the, your transaction. Uh, if more blocks are added, the amount of proof of work that would be required to tinker with transaction that ha transactions that ha are already included in the blockchain would make it economically um, unfeasible to tinker with those. So for uh, simple transactions, um, low value transactions, everyday transactions, pretty much zero or one confirmations are fine. If you are selling a car, perhaps look for, I don't know, two confirmations. If you're selling a house, perhaps wait up to an hour, so six confirmations. I think anything above that would require a state level actor to interfere with or perhaps be entirely economically uh, unfeasible. So this is what we mean with confirmations here. Uh, I will specify now one confirmation and here you can see information such as your transaction ID, uh, the address script public key, uh, whether the transaction is spendable and the V out which we discussed uh, uh, a few minutes ago. Now you can construct a new transaction with the create new transaction command. Um, you will need to have your address uh, and then you will need to put it uh, oops, yeah, so what I'm doing here basically is I am using a command called uh, dump private key address and this gives me the private key associated with this address. I will then use the private key to produce a valid signature and spend uh, the UTXO. Now, let's move on to how we create a new uh raw transaction, you use the command create new transaction, then single quotes, uh, straight brackets, curly brackets, and then uh, double quotes uh, in the middle. Uh, inside the first double quotes, uh, you will have a transaction, the, the term transaction ID, then outside the double quotes, you will put a colon, and you will specify again within double quotes the transaction uh, uh, ID. Okay, perfect. Then comma, double quotes again, and then you type vout followed by uh, a colon. Now, the reason we are doing this is again, we specify using the transaction uh, has, the previous transaction has, we specify which transaction we want to use as an input for our new transaction and using the V out we specify which specific output of this transaction we want to use as an input for our new transaction. So this is what this uh, does uh, basically. So outside of this command uh, we will type uh, single quotes, curly brackets, double quotes again and then uh, put the address that we want to send the 
funds to. So I have a different address here which I will use and I simply copy it and paste it uh, within the uh, double quotes. Okay, and then after a column, we specify the amount of money we want to send to this address. Now, this, this point here is very important. Um, as you can see uh, from the console above, the amount of money that I have available to spend from this transaction is 0 0.0012 followed by zeros. Now, if I anything that I don't specify as an amount that I want to send to an address will be left to the miners as a transaction fee. So if I specify 0 0.001 here, I'm leaving 0 0.0002 as a fee to the miners as a tip to incentivize them to include my transaction in an upcoming block. Now you should always include a fee, otherwise you're risking um, your transaction not being included uh, in a block, um, let alone the next block, in any block, let alone the next block, but you should be very careful in the amount you specify. In case you don't want to leave the entire rest of your balance to a miner, you should specify a address where the change will be returned to you and I'll show you uh, how you can do this uh, in a moment again this is the balance I have anything that I don't specify here either as the primary recipient address or as you know a, a change address will be given to miners uh, as a fee um, this is how uh, transaction fees work in Bitcoin. You spend the entire UTXO and any amount of money you don't specify um, is given to miners, right? Um, this is how you would specify a change address. You would uh, uh, denote the amount you want returned to you after the columns and within the double quotes you'd put the, the change address. I'm happy tipping the miners uh, 0 0.002. Uh, after you hit uh, enter here, you will be presented with an unsigned transaction hash. And as we will see in some other videos, this is what certain applications create for you to sign with your hardware wallet. Uh, Edgap implementations also utilize uh, this uh, transaction hash. And what I'll do now is go ahead and sign this transaction. I'm going to need the uh, transaction ID and the V out. So this is why I'm copying this. And the command I'm going to use for assigning this transaction is uh, this sign row transaction. I've copied and pasted the information here. And um, then I'll put two single quotes. I will put here the uh, uh, the unsigned transaction hash. So this is how you the command sign row transaction is used. And after the vout, I will need to specify the script pub key. This is an important step. Again, if you don't know what any of those terms mean, refer to the course material. And then I will also need to specify the private key associated after the, the script uh, pub key, which I inputted now. I'll need to uh, specify the private key associated with this uh, uh, address. Uh, and I showed you before how we got this uh, with the dump private key command. Uh, I put this in my uh, double uh, quotes here and then I hit enter. Uh, we will be presented with a long uh, hexadecimal here along with a confirmation that our transaction is complete and signed. And if we use the command decode row transaction and paste uh, the hexadecimal, we can find out more information about our uh, transaction. And the last step, if we are happy with the information that we have, and we have double checked that everything is correct, is to um, send raw transaction, include the hexadecimal and hit enter. And this is it. This is our new uh, transaction has. 
our uh, transaction is now sent to other nodes and will hopefully be picked up by a miner incentivized by our transaction uh, fee that we left on the table and included in an upcoming block you can use this transaction fee um, on your bitcoin uh, core node to see the progress of your transaction or you can do so online uh, through a third party uh, blockchain explorer so that is all uh, for now